Quantum GIS Intro Part 8 Importing Points Generated in Google Maps to Quantum So something I'm often asked is how to get points from Google Maps into GIS, in this case Quantum GIS. So let's say we were just using Google Maps to generate some info about Spanish locations. Since our base map is Spain, we'll just go somewhere like Seville and we'll zoom in, go downtown. We'll just pick a few points under my maps, for example, my places. Here we go. Oops, I have to sign in. Wasn't expecting that. How about So I'm signed in and I want to create a map. I want to go to Seville, Spain. Yeah, Sevilla. Nice. Zoom in. And we want to create a point right here at Torre de Oro. And now here's a trick, which is this you have a title and a description. That's basically all you have with your maps. You want the title to be a number. You're going to use that as a unique ID number to join data to it later, which I'll explain in another section. And you can give it a description here, which will be something longer. But you have to understand that when that's brought into GIS, it's all lumped together. So you don't really want a whole lot of attributes as an array in the description area. You want the unique ID that you're going to join your tabular data to to be in the title. Okay, so we'll just do that and we'll add another one like Plaza de Toros. Okay, Plaza de Toros, easy enough. We'll say that's unique ID too and we'll just go for that. Okay. Now we have two places and we want to share it out as a link. We want to go to a new page and we want the format to be KML, which I'm going to forget now. KML, is that going to work? I don't think so. Oh yeah, there it is. So at the end of that long link, I simply added the parameter n, f as in format, equals KML. And now I can just simply grab this KML, which has been downloaded to my computer. Okay, so I've got a download called Untitled KML, and I'll come to Quantum, I'll add vector data, I'll use UTF-8 encoding, which is default, and I'll go to my downloads file, and I'll look for my Untitled KML. Now I need to change the file type coming in to Keyhole Markup Language, and I can now bring in Untitled KML opening it and you'll see that there's a green dot which we can zoom to layer and we now see one dot up here one dot down there those were my green dots in Civi and if I was to try to get the info of this active layer and see what this feature is. I'll raise that to the top. It's Sevilla. So I'm in the right place. They're roughly in the right locations as I would expect. 
And if I open the attribute table, I'm going to see that it brought in my name as one and two, exactly what I wanted, but it wrapped the description in these divs. So this is very hard to parse and you can't really join things to it, but these will be easy to join information to. So if I had a table of information about the places I wanted and I simply added each ID of the location into the point that I created in Google Maps, I've now got an easy way of generating tabular data and joining it to locations found in Google Map. So there you have it. We can import data created in Google Maps and create KML that we can import easily into Quantum.